साइक्लिक वर्सेस ए साइक्लिक ग्राफ साइक्लिक ग्राफ इज ए ग्राफ दैट कंटेन्स एट लीस्ट वन साइकिल एंड व्हाट इज ए साइकिल ए साइकिल इज ए क्लोज लूप ऑफ वर्टिसेस एनदर वे ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग साइक्लिक ग्राफ इज फॉर एनी वन वर्टेक्स इन द ग्राफ दिस शुड बी ए पाथ सच दैट यू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वर्टेक्स start traversing and then reach back to the same vertex if that happens then it is a cyclic graph but there is one more condition the condition is you should not be using the same edge more than once why should you have this condition the reason is let us say you have a graph like this this is a vertex this is also a vertex this is also a vertex and you are having these two edges in the graph you started from this particular vertex you went till the end and came back in the same path but this is not cyclic graph the reason is you use the same edges more than once see you can't use even one among the edges more than once all the edges used in the path should be different then you can have a question that if you can't use the same edge more than once can you use same vertex more than once and still will it be cyclic the answer is yes and there is one more thing to add to it what i have to add is you are saying that you will use the same vertex more than once in order to complete the cycle so let us say you started from this vertex then maybe you went here then you went here let us say this is the vertex which you want to use more than once right maybe you went here went here and came back here and then to here so here you are using different edges everywhere but you use the same vertex twice but the point is if you are using same vertex twice then you don't have to wait till you reach back to the parent vertex here itself you can declare that there is a cycle because you are using this vertex more than once means at some point you started from this vertex and did come back to the same vertex that is how you were able to use the same vertex more than once so if you are using the same vertex more than once there itself you have a cycle you don't have to wait till coming back to the point where you started so in in case of cyclic we have to discuss about di direction of the graph as well that is there can be cases of directed cyclic graph and also undirected cyclic graph in this case whatever we are seeing here this is undirected cyclic graph there is no particular direction but there can also be directed cyclic graph in that case the edges will have direction like this and once the edges have direction then through that direction a path should exist along the directed edges that goes in a circle so all the rules remain saying same but the thing is you have to be clear about the direction because if if this is only a graph this is a cyclic graph but if this edge is reversed like this then it is not a cyclic graph because now you have you can come from here till here but you can't come here because that this particular direction you don't have an edge the edge is only from this point to this point so because of that whenever you have direction in the edges then you should be careful to make sure whether it is cyclic or if it is not one more concept related to this cyclic graph is the concept of self loop so some graphs can have a self loop what is a self loop if this is your graph this can be your graph as of now this graph is not cyclic let me give some direction as well i gave directions as well but this graph as of now is not a cyclic graph but what i can do i can add a self loop what is a self loop it is an edge that begins and ends on the same vertex so if i add a self loop here it will start from here come back to the same vertex this is a self loop so self loop is also con considered as a cycle which means if you have a graph which is acyclic but you added a self loop then also it is a cyclic graph okay so this is about the concept of cyclic acyclic graphs and as well as self loops